Hi, I'm Brent Powell. This is the Goblin 380. And what I have on here is the uh, gyro system that is a Skookum 720, the black edition. And I also have attachment to it, which is the GPS. And uh, whenever you plug it in, you allow it to attain GPS signal, and then you get a pitch pump once everything's lined up and ready to go. And uh, the GPS is a cool system. It allows you to recover whenever you get into a bad situation when you're practicing 3D, and uh, saves you from crashing in the ground. It's an expensive investment, but so is the helicopter, and it's, it's well worth the money to buy it. Uh, and I definitely recommend it to anybody. It's helped me uh, become a better pilot for sure. Even though I'm not to the same level as Jamie Robertson on 3D, but I do fly it and, and try new tricks. And it's definitely worth it because it will cover you out of a bad situation with just simply flipping the switch. And we'll show you that here in a second. One thing to keep in mind if you do get one of these. Uh, GPS units is you're going to have to keep it far away from your servos, the motor, anything that creates a magnetic field because it will mess with the compass and so that's why I built this uh, aluminum bracket. I have a piece of angle uh, aluminum stock and uh, it's far enough away that you don't get any interference anymore so your compass works correctly. Whenever I take off I'll go out uh, a little ways, I'll turn it nose in um, and then I'll flip the switch to test the home feature. Home feature would actually fly it right over this spot, 30 meters over the ground. I usually don't let it get that close because I don't want it to overshoot me if it ever does. Um, so that's what I'll test first and then I'll go inverted, flip the switch and show you how it will bail itself out. Now when I flip the switch to home, right now it's controlling itself and flying back home. I'll flip it back out, go into normal flight. Then if I want to go inverted and flip the switch, bail out. Okay, it just flipped itself, got it back inverted right, and it's going to lock into that altitude and it will stay that way. You can even move your controls, but it pretty much doesn't do a whole lot, but you still can control the rudder. Inverted, flip the switch. And there it is bailing out. And of course, with the DX9 radio, I can program it to tell me bail out. And then back to flying. No matter what angle you get into, even if I'm going like this, now flip it back upright. Just to demonstrate flipping of the switches, I have my three-way switch set uh, to go to bail out by flipping all the way up because in an emergency you're not going to really maybe think so you just flip it all the way up and you know you're going to the right position. So what I'll do is I'll go back inverted, I'm inverted, I'll flip the switch and it's that quick, that fast. Now if I want to do return home, I go down one position and it'll actually turn nose in like it is right now, fly back to me and uh, I took it over because I don't like it getting too close. But that's what home will do. And I'll go out here and I'll show you home one more time. Let me go out here and then I'll flip home. Okay. Now it's gonna turn those in. It's flying itself back. Here it is, I'm actually not doing anything. It's doing itself. And then it's actually gonna come back over us and uh, go to a 30 foot altitude or 30 meters, which is what I said. You can set it for any altitude you want. And that is just some of the cool features that Skookum and the Skookum GPS offers. They have many other options such as altitude hold, hard deck, soft deck. Allows you to practice and do a lot of 3D or any type of aerobatics. And they even got what's called self-level. If I flip it into self-level, it's probably like a coax. You actually have to push forward or pull backwards to continue to fly it. As soon as you let off, it goes back goes back level and that works pretty good on my scale heli uh, to put it into uh, self level and fly it that way uh, because it looks a little more scale realistic and that's 
a Galvin 380 with a Skookum 720 and Skookum GPS module. Thanks for watching.